Hello there! Let's create these footprints. It's simple technique I like so far to use in my animations because it is easy to implement uh, with impressive results. Let's dive in. I got this guy from Mixmo. Check the link in description to get one. But I keep the animation in slow motion. You can adjust the speed of animations very easy in non-linear animation editor, which is very amazing tool to handle animations in layer format instead of keyframes. Okay, let's do a simile ground for this guy to walk on very quick. We're good to go now. Firstly, for this technique to work, we need enough vertex on the ground to be displaced by this guy here, so... Let's subdivide the plane very quick. Also make sure the foot touches the ground. Now I gonna add a cool modifier to the guy and the ground. It's a dynamic paint modifier. This is amazing modifier, guys. I made some cool stuffs using this modifier for years now, and I have tutorials about this. So you can watch them to understand clearly how to customize the ground type. As usual, the ground must be canvas, and the character should be brush in the dynamic paint settings. The brush is what causes deformation in easy words, I can say. Now you can see we get these basic footprints, which must be adjusted here to get the feel of the ground you wish to create for your character to move on. You should watch this tutorial to full master the way you can adjust these values properly to get good result of ground type you want. This dissolve option makes the footprint do disappear after a certain period of time that you set. Look careful the effect when dissolve option is enabled. It may seem slow, but you can customize the duration for disappearance in this time option here. The slow option makes the dissolving process slow. It is very useful. Also, you can change this to waves to get waves effect when a foot hits the ground. The good thing about this dynamic paint modifier is that you can add multiple other modifiers on top of it, and they will work both of them with no issues. I just added a displace modifier to displace the ground a little bit. Also you can shade smooth and see if the results impress you. Okay, now let's try something more interesting here. Let's make snow on top of this ground and see the effect. I just changed the animation here, nothing more than that. I believe this can open you endless possibilities when you use this trick creatively because the trick can be used to anything as you can see every touch to the ground leaves a mark. For snow, you must enable this add-in called Real Snow to spawn some realistic snows. You see nothing you can you can search here in Extensions tab. Now press in key and find a Real Snow tab. After that just select the plane and hit Add Snow. Again select the snow and add the dynamic paint modifier. Just repeat the previous steps and you are good to go. Always remember to bake the effects if you want to see the effects in real time. It's very useful if the viewport feel laggy. I'm in Eevee render right now. So I'm gonna add a sun to light up the scene and I will consider adding the environmental texture and use HDR image to light up the scene. I think it will help Eevee in this way. Look at the snow guys, consider this is built in add-in in Blender. The deformation looks cool for me, I don't know about you how you see it. And I guess if I render this it will convince you that the thing is somehow realistic. Adding the environmental texture and use HDR image to light up the scene, I think it will help you be in this way. Also the cool thing about this add-in is that you can add multiple layers of snow if you like. Also, you can select the portion of the ground and add snow at work school. You can repeat the process. This add-in is so cool I really love it. Then I created three cameras to firm a very simple animation. After that I keyframed every camera in timeline. You can watch this tutorial if you want to know how I did that. Link in description. Then I ended up with this animation. And then I hit Ctrl plus F12 to render animation. I hope this video was helpful to you. So you can do me a favor by like, comment any suggestions, and what is on your mind I will be more than happy to answer that. 
Also consider subscribing to this channel as I always love to make interesting tutorials in Blender and 3D stuffs. By doing that it will motivate me more to create these tutorials. Thanks for watching, eat, render, repeat. Creativity knows no bounds, happy rendering.